alcohol, this is reconstituting a powdered medication in a vial. First step for this procedure is to have your equipment. Here I have the medication. This is ceftriaxone. It is in a powder. And I have here the diluent. That's the liquid that is going to be put into the vial to um, reconstitute the powder. Over here I have my MAR that tells me that I have ceftriaxone, and I can see it on my vial. Ceftriaxone, 500 milligrams. I have to reconstitute it with 2.8 milliliters of liquid, and that's going to yield 3 milliliters. Once you add the liquid and the powder together, you have 3 milliliters, and it's 500 milligrams and 3 mill milliliters. My order is for 250 milligrams, so the actual dose I'm going to drop and give to my patient is 1.5 milliliters. And I'll go through that as we go through this process. So other equipment, I have alcohol wipes. I have here a blunt cannula or a vial access device. And then here I have my syringe and needle. This medication is ordered IM, an intramuscular injection. And so I have a needle that is one inch long. And I know I need to draw up 2.8 milliliters of liquid, so I have a 3 milliliter syringe. So it tells me that on the title of this package, and I can see it here. You will notice when I open this package that I like to open it this way, because see how this makes like a basket for it, a place for it to rest. So I'm going to set this down, and first I'm going to open these vials and clean the tops of them up. So there's the two tops are removed, and I clean off the rubber stoppers with alcohol. So I open my alcohol wipe, and I scrub those, scrub, 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 and scrub, scrub, scrub. All right, those are clean. I let them dry. In the meantime, I open up my syringe and needle package. As I'm opening it, I have it resting right here on the table. And then I also open up my blunt cannula or my vial access device. As I open this, I'm very careful not to touch the hub because the hub needs to stay sterile. So I take out my syringe. The, the hub of this also has to stay sterile, so I'm careful not to touch there. I connect the two using a twist. And then this is ready. And I just set my needle to the side for right now. My first step is to act, is to draw up, take the cap off here, draw up 2.8 milliliters of air, 2.8. And then I have to put the air into this vial so then I can draw up the 2.8 milliliters of liquid. So to access the vial, I start at a little bit of an angle and then go straight in and you have to push really hard push, push, push. It makes a pop noise once that um, file access device actually gets through the stopper. Then I push the air in, push all the air in. Now I invert my vial and my syringe and then I draw up my 2.8 milliliters. Now to draw this up, I draw it past 2.8 and then I look to see if I have any air. I can see down here I have an air bubble. So I give that a good click with my finger, hold tight. And give it a good flick of the finger. I still have some air up here at the top, so I push that air out. And then I make sure that I have 2.8 milliliters. So there's a large line at 2.5, and then you could count down. 2.6, 2.7, So then I put the vial back on the table, take the vial access device out, access the medication vial, start at a little bit of an angle, and straight in then, and push in the water or liquid, push in the liquid, take the syringe out, give it a cap, put the cap on, and now you have to shake this. In your text it says don't shake, to just agitate it, but this will never mix up if you don't shake it. It's an antibiotic, you have to shake it. All right, once it's all dissolved, look and make sure you don't see any particles in there. 
and then set it on the table. And now I'm going to draw up my one and a half milliliters. So to do that, I take the cap off my vial access device. I do not need to add any air to this um, because the vial is already pressurized by adding that 2.8 milliliters of liquid. So don't add any air. Just access the vial, turn it upside down, and then draw in the one and a half milliliters. As I'm drawing in, I'm only touching the hub. I'm not touching this whole thing here. I'm touching the hub, and I pull down well past the one and a half, well past, and then I look to see if I have any air. If I have any air bubbles, I click those out, holding tight. Click the bubbles up to the top, and then push the bubbles back into the vial. And then make sure I have one and a half milliliters, one and a half, which I do have. So now I put my vial back on the table, remove the access device and syringe from the vial, put the cap on, and now I need to take off this blunt cannula and put on the sharp needle because I'm going to go down to my patient's room and give the IM injection. So in order to do that, I am going to pull back just a tiny bit of air to get any medicine that's in that vial access device to get it back down here into the syringe. I keep my syringe upright and I take the blunt cannula off. I put that in the sharps container and then I very carefully without touching the hub of the needle, that has to stay sterile and that has to stay sterile. I put the two together using a twisting motion, a little bit of a twist. And then I can see I have that little air, and I push that back up into the needle, into the needle, and I can see that a little tiny drop came out of the top of the needle, and I'm at one and a half milliliters, and so now I'm ready to go into my patient's room to give this injection. When I go down to my patient room, if I work at a facility where I have to bring the computer with me, I bring the computer with. If I work where there's a computer in the room, I don't have to bring it with me, but it's in the room. But I do have to bring the vial and the liquid because the barcodes out of both are on the vial and I will need to scan this in order to give the medication to the patient. All right, that is all. Uh, your procedure for how to reconstitute a powdered medication in a vial.